Welcome back to more New Mission the Emblems. So last time we did chapter 4, we rescued the Grustian Royal Children with the help of Ogma and Sirius. And now we're going to go on to chapter 5, we're going to be liberating Rust by the sounds of it. We're going to start the liberation of Grust at the Old Burn Keep. So back we go to Grust. The shocking news brought by Shida was a terrible blow to Marth. Harden was once not only a comrade in arms, but a trusted confidant and irreplaceable friend. Yet, yeah, why attack Altir? What have I done wrong? Filled with frustration, Marth hurried his return to hurried his return to his home. But the first barrier stood in his way. Old Burn Keep, headquarters of the Grustian occupation army led by the evil General Lang. Also known as the Nest of Evil. Right, it's been decided that we're going to go to war with Arcanea. Arcanea won't be an easy opponent. They have one of the most powerful militaries on the continent. We're ready to face anything, sir. Although we still lack experience, I admit, we have to grow stronger. Indeed. Rohan, are you aware of the drill grounds that operate across the continent? Drill grounds, sir? It costs a bit of money, but if you go practice one, you can get stronger. It might be a good idea to let our more inexperienced men have a go. So yeah, there's that new feature. I'll talk about that for a little bit. I'm not so sure if I'm going to use it too much, but we'll see. Hey, Riss found something. A fly catcher? <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, some people think that Castora might be a con artist, and yeah, that's probably why. Right. Yeah, another blunt sword, okay. Let's do the talks. Oh my god, we have a lot of talks. <laughs> Pala and Katra. So yeah, Rohan isn't the only one who gets supports, but he may as well be because um, pretty much he supports everyone, but then some characters support someone else naturally. Yeah. So let's hear the two sisters talk here. Check. Oh, I don't believe it. I give up. The, the way you move your pieces is lacking composure. Also, if you had focus on setting up a strong defense, it wouldn't crumble so easily. I see. You need to be more composed than observing the whole situation. Reading your opponent's movements and focusing your attacks on what pieces you've learned. These are the basics of tactics. You're right, perhaps I was too impatient. Is there something on your mind? Uh, it hurts. But you don't do anything about it, so you act recklessly as if running from that pain. That's how I see it. I'm no match for you, Pala. How did you figure out that much? Well, I didn't really. Alright, I'll make an effort to observe things with more composure. Something might change if I do. Thank you, sister. So there we go. I actually kind of like the supports, to be honest, but anyway. She done not run. Hmm. What is this? It smells heavenly. I do like my food, so yeah. Oh my, Rohan, what good timing. I tried to make stew with some leftovers. Would you like to try some? Princess She did been cooking? Yeah, so I do hope Marth enjoys I made. Oh, that is nice of you. Then, if you allow me. Oh, it's amazing. It tastes really good. I'm glad you like it. Do you think Marth will like it too? Without a shower of a doubt. It's delicious after all. Though you're the princess of Talos, you're awfully skilled at cooking. Well, I may be a princess, but my motherland Talos is just a small iron nation surrounded by the sea. I played around outside a lot during my childhood days. I, I heard the art that called me a tomboy. I never would have guessed. Oh, by the way. Hmm? Some time ago, you were our opponent during our training, princess. I could scarcely believe a princess of fires. I still remember my amazement at the time. Oh yes, that time everyone begged me to quit, but I suppose I truly am a tomboy after all. Yeah, she's also awesome too, but yeah. <laughs> now you take a sip, let's talk to Reese then. Alright, what's Reese got? Uh, I pressed B by accident. Oh, for this it's Sir Rohan. Sir S. Thank you kindly for seeing me from that predicament the other day. Don't mention it, I'm the one always getting myself wounded, I'm sorry for the trouble. It's no trouble at all. Your daily growth always enthralls you, Sir Rohan. Thank you. Ho oh, oh, ho, look at you bring us up memories of the children of the monastery in Altair. There's a monastery in Altair? Yes, I built a small monastery, monastery off the last sort. They're many delightful children there. It begs the question though, why the- <laughs> why was he in Talos in, in Shadow Dragon? If he was an Altair. I guess he likes to travel then. Hmm. You won't think that, but yeah. Heavens, that's admirable. The children that grow strong with every passing day, living in harmony with nature, just like you, sir, right? That's very kind of you. Yes, even your naughty sides are a kid. 
Eh, Saris. Oh, do excuse me. Anyway, Pala and Rohan. So I said, um, I said during Shard Dragon that I feel like Pala is very lovely. It's because of the support. Ha! 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 Uh, I'm feeling dizzy. Rohan, are you alright? Dame Pala. I'm okay. Sorry you had to see that. You look unsteady. This isn't like you. What are you doing? The truth is, I thought I wasn't training hard enough. <laughs> but that, <laughs> well, but considering my stats, I think I could maybe um take a bit easier. But anyway, so I decided to train five times harder. How sudden? Then it's no wonder you collapsed. It's okay. When training is hard, train even harder. My grandfather taught me that. That'll do you no good. You're pushing yourself too hard. Here, sit down. Let's take a break. No, I can still. Let's take a break. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, that's more like it. You won't get strong if you force yourself to train too hard. You need to understand your limits. Here's some water. Please have some. Thank you. I'll get more if you need it. Just ask. That's enough training for now. Do you hear me? Yes. <laughs> and then Linda Rohan. I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Rohan, Prince Moss Royal God. I am Linda, daughter of Pontifex Maloa. Pontifex Maloa, is he famous? Wow, you don't know father? No, I don't. Sorry. Please forgive my ignorance. I come from the country. Though I'm sure he's a great man. He is. There's not a soul in Arcane who doesn't know father. He was a wonderful pontifex, respected by everyone. I've always wanted to be like him. I see. He sounds like someone I like to meet. Is he in Arcane right now? He passed away, killed by the dark pontifex Garneth. I see. My condolences. It's fine. Don't worry. What about your family? I don't have one anymore. I used to have my grandfather, but he's gone too. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. How should I put it? It's a draw with square. Hey, even. Yes, that works. Hehe, <laughs> you're funny. Very well, Rohan. It was nice meeting you. The pleasure is mine. So there we go. Current stars. My greatest fear has been realized. Emperor Hard of Arcadia planned to invade our kingdom from the very start. If he considered the speed of this invasion to crush the expedition, the rebellion massed on with no doubt traps. Make no mistake with it, the Arcanian army is now our enemy. We will be returned to Altair, after going through the stronghold of Lang's occupation army, that is. We can't let Lang be, especially after he ensnared our kingdom and tormented the people of Gross. So there we go, Barst. So, Ark, is something troubling you? Yes, I'm deep troubled. Our battle former support of mine, a man named Barst. Is that Barst, was it? When you say support, you mean for Talus? Yes, he used to be a mercenary fighting for King Talus and Princess Sheeta, just like me. After the previous war was over, it seems he had an idea and left for Arcanaeum. Then he's with the enemy? No, it seems he did join the Arcanaeum, but left it because he tired of fight. If you happen to meet Bast, I'll talk to him. Leave it to me. So, we should bring Ogma because he can recruit Bast, but I think Board and Cord also work if you really want to, so yeah. And then we got Ricard. Hey Rohan, there's something, there's something bothering me. If I'm not mistaken, my pal lives around here. Your pal? Yeah, thief called Ricard. I washed my hands of thievery, but I heard Ricard continues his thieving ways. If you see him, leave him to me. I'll persuade him to quit that shitty business. And it's very important that you do. Now, the good thing about this version is that it's much easier to get Ricard because he actually positioned Julian where you want. In FV3, it's a bit more annoying because he can't position Julian where you want, so yeah. You might not be able to reach Terminal. If you can't, then it becomes a very annoying. But yeah, let's look at the drug grounds a little bit. This is the Jewel Crowns, here for some practice, mate. Which one of you needs some experience? So, this is basically... You basically trade money for experience. So, of course, we should think about Julian for this. But yeah, he can easily defeat this dude. He does also use up weapon charge, so I'm pretty sure as well. But yeah, you look at the... Um, res you basically look at how... Um, how they compare, and then yeah, you can go from there. I think the 35 experience the Merc gives is how much we're going to get, so yeah. The level ups, I believe, are also kind of fixed, They're depending on your growth rate, so yeah. I think you get a number of stats depending on your growth too, but considering that most characters have really high growth rates in this game, you're probably going to be getting like three... Most of the time you're going to get three dual stats, which is... Well, not three dual stats, you're going to get three stat ups minimum, so yeah. Why not? Let's use Julian, because Julian could use the help. And yeah, on that, it's like the arena, basically. And yeah, like I said, you're basically trading money for experience. 
So it's actually kind of strong, especially with some units, which we'll talk about later. Anyway, Julian gets apparently four stats. And yeah, strength is definitely good, so I'm gonna take that. You can keep going to try and get more bang for your buck, basically, but you have to use the same weapon, so yeah. Um, this guy he is pretty even with, but he goes first, which I think gives him the advantage. Because 6, 12, 18, 24. And then 5, 10, 15, 20. But yeah, I think we can go again, actually. I'll go again. Because, yeah, another good thing about Julian here, he goes first, so yeah. So that means he's gonna win. And nice crew. <laughs> but I think after this, I'm gonna stop. But yeah, unlike the Reno, you don't make money, and yeah, he's gonna lose this, so no. But I did, I did get some money last time thanks to Bullion, so yeah, we can definitely um, afford to do that. I'll get the Shiva to Linda. Rohan should be fine. Um, you should be fine. Um, oh yeah, we should pick who we're taking. So I probably don't want Gordon. Ogma is good because of... Um, Ogma's good because he can recruit boss for us, so yeah, I definitely want that. I think after that, this should be fine. Oh yeah, I want Shida too, because I want you Shida, actually. That means probably taking um, Aaron off, but... Which I can't say about because Aaron is useful, so yeah. That means I'm gonna equip um, Shida as well. So Mars should be fine, Ron should be fine. I think you'll be fine. I mean, I probably don't need you, Mina, but having the second healer might not be a bad idea, so yeah. That's why I'm thinking that. Um, Katra should be fine. Linda should be fine. More use of the fun time could be nice, but yeah. Maybe I'll think about buying a Terminator. Um, Pala should be fine. Julian should be fine. We can put away the armor, so. Ogma should be fine. He only needs steel, so I think. I guess he could carry around the armor slayer for a little bit. Yumina. Um, I guess you could take a men. Why not? Sirius. He probably doesn't need a devil sword. I'm gonna give this steel lance to someone else because I don't think he needs it at the moment. So yeah. Catra could take it. Instead of the wall. Um, now I trade it. <laughs> that was kind of weird of me. But yeah, I'll keep the Iron Sword because again, he could use the Sword Ramp. But another thing we can do is give him the Blunt Sword and leave the Steel Sword. He can take an Iron Lance and jump like that. He also got the Fly Catcher, which is effective against Flyers, which is actually pretty good. Um, especially if you decide to Forge it, because I'm pretty sure you can Forge weapons like that. So yeah, I'll save for later maybe. I can give it Sheeta as well if I want. But with how I want to use Sheeta. I don't think she wants the flight catcher. It'd probably be much better on Paler actually. It is only 10 uses though, but hey, if it does all against alive, then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you mean if you're fine. I got serious good. But yeah, the blunt sword, that means he can suck kills, which is cool. He can get experience that way. And then Shida. The thing I want to do is Shida. I actually want to reclass her into a cab for this playthrough. Kind of weird, but it will bounce around a little bit, so yeah. <laughs> Why not? Because I do have a lot of flies anyway, and if I need to, I can always switch her into a fly. And I think on this up, it's fine that she's a um, cab. She can actually help at the bottom of the map, though. But anyway, unfortunately, yeah, I would need another steel arms. I guess we can take. Palas again, because Palas Pal could use the flycatch against those, um, against those, um, what am I trying to say, those, those wyverns, I mean, and she can take a Vulnery back, so there we go, and the rest should be fine, so yeah, I definitely need to buy more steel answers, so I'll make sure to do that. Yeah, I'm happy with Shida. We'll talk about her as a unit as well. Maybe did the recall, so I don't think I need to forge again. Thinking about it. 
So yeah, I want to see what money can I can sell the balloon we got last map, so let's do that. I do have more stuff too. But anyway, let's view the map now finally. So yeah, here we got some views, but we also got Ricard, so you want to put Julian like near the front, like this. Then he can get to... Actually, it's like this. Then he can get to record. So yeah, no problem there. We obviously want Ogma here, so that he can go and talk to Blast. <clears throat> Rohan probably goes here, I think. Um, Pala... I think like this is what I want to do. But anyway, let's talk about this map a little bit. So, there are a few things you need to point out. Of course, there's Blast, Card, a lot of Thieves. I think they go off on the boat, so I want to be a little bit careful. There's a pure one and there's a fire. Fire will be nice for uh, Linda, maybe. It's just that it's low might. There's these dudes? Lead, led by George, actually, with the path here, so you want to be very careful. Basically, don't go near these guys unless it's the last turn where you can maybe surprise kill on them with the fires. Shida might be able to also do it too, but we'll see. There's like a reinforcer around here, it's the only reinforcer on the map, it's a feat that also destroys the, tri destroys the verge. If the feats don't destroy the verge, they exit around here. Which they very well could because they already have items on them, so yeah. And then over here, some Dracos, you can send your flyers to go kill them, which is what I'm gonna do. Down here, more cows, but then here's the annoying part of this map. There's two Ballista, a Stone Hoist, and an Arispe on the boss. So yeah, that means the have flyers are gonna be so dumb. That means that Yoshida being a cab is actually pretty cool here, so yeah. So yeah, that will be good. So that's basically it for this map. It's a pretty um, interesting one with some interesting scenarios. It's a lot easier than normal too because there's a lot less enemies. They also don't have the Physic Priest over here, or Physic Bishop. You want to kill him on the last turn, don't you? He was also an FE3, because you can kill him the last turn, get your physic, and then get out before the step is clear of flies. So that's it. So yeah, we did like everything. That was a really long bar prep, but that's okay. We still need to talk about Shida, which we'll do at the start of this map. Let's go. Commander Lang, the Altian army has arrived. You moron, why are you so panicked? With the Nisha name and ruins, the Altians are of no consequence to us. But Sir George's archers left to call them uh, rebellion. Can we win with just our troops? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Call George back to the castle this instant. While you're there, find that hired sword Navarre and bring him here. General Torres, I am heading inside. You will defend this location to your last breath. Do not let the enemy get close. Do I make myself clear? So there we go. And here's George. Captain George, recent orders to return to the castle immediately. Orders from Lanka? I'm not fond of that. His treatment of our people is simply intolerable. To work beneath him is an insult. Pay his orders no more. But, Captain, will be accused of treason. Captain, you can't be planning to defend our tier. No, that's not an option. If I were to defend now, I'd track the entire platoon down with me. So for that reason, I'll absolutely not take any risk that might besmirch my army. Captain George. Anyway, inform everyone. Do not move from your stations. However, the enemy approaches and may engage them. So yeah, that's how they work. They don't move on their own, but if you get close, they'll move. So yeah, that's how this is gonna work. So yeah, let's talk about Shida first. So Shida is very good, obviously. She still has her wing sphere, so she can, of course, be really effective against calves. Well, not calves. Yeah, it is calves. <laughs> really effective against calves and armors, obviously, which makes up for her lower strength. And yeah, again, she has really good growth rates, especially in the speed department. She's one of the fastest units in the game. So, yeah, let's talk about those growth rates now. 60 HP, 30 strength, 0 magic, 80 skill, 95 speed, 80 luck, um, 25 defense, and 10 res. But I did make her a cavalier, so it should be a lot more balanced now. So that'll be cool. And yeah, I can even use the lady sword with that too, which is pretty cool. So she has two pretty high might weapons on her already, so yeah. I like this unit a lot. I didn't really like her before because I thought that the white wings are better, but sure, the wing set isn't as good because not every enemy is a <laughs> um, cab or an arm anymore, but she's still really good, so yeah. 
Still a really, really solid unit. Then, yeah, let's go recruit some more units. So, yeah, let's have... Um... Julian, go talk to Ricard. Hey, Ricard, I, s I see you haven't, t haven't tired of Steven. Ah, oh, Chief, how nice to see ya. Well, I was planning to work with you and making loads of money, but you had to go and quit the business. Falling head over heels to that beautiful cleric and then dumping me, that's just too cruel. Did our love really mean that little to you? Can it, you little thing? People got the wrong idea about us if you keep talking like that. Anyway, forget about thieving and come with me to fight for justice. Hmm, alright then. I'll follow you anyway. I do adore you, Chief. So, and now we can kill this guy with the ice sword. So, yeah. I could have also given it to Sheila, but yeah, that's okay. There we go. Here's again. Julian could use the help. And he gets another level up. This time, more speed. And another iron sword. But anyway, let's talk about Ricard now. He's a lesser Julian like he was before. Um, again, not as good growth rates, joints later, not as good base stats. That's really it. But he can still open chests, and he's the only other option for a thief. So if Julian were to die, he can replace him, basically. For growth rates at 60 HP, 40 strength, 0 magic, 30 skill, 70 speed, 60 luck, 30 defense, and 0 res. And just like in FE3 Book 1, he actually has a unique... He looks unique to Julian in battle. Julian uses a unique thief sprite, he is the generic one, so yeah. Let's talk about one more unit, a uh, Bast. I like this conversation because I'm using um, the Axe Brothers in my other playthrough, and um, the conversation is pretty hilarious. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that, like, boss mistook board for cord as a joke, so yeah. <laughs> boss is pretty cool, like that, baby. Long time to see boss. Captain Ogba, why are you here? Another war has started. Once again, I found the Prince of Oscar battle. Boss, let us just strength, we need you. I got nothing to do with fine now. Well, that's what I would say if you were anyone else. Captain, I owe you. You say that sorry asses on more occasions than one. Captain Ogba, just say to it. I'll do whatever you want. Here is Bast. Once again, he is really strong. Um, lots of strength, good enough speed. He's a good balance between the other two. Again. But he does join later, so he does have... So yeah, I wouldn't say he's as good as he was in Shadow Dragon, but he's still pretty solid. You can definitely use him, but definitely become very strong. Um, solid. He's a solid fighter, I say. His growth rates are 100 HP, 70 strength, 0 magic, 60 skill, 40 speed, 50 luck, 25 defense, and 0 res. His growth rates are kind of similar to mine, actually. So yeah, if you want to make him a little bit faster, if his strength is already in a good place, you can make him a pirate as well. So yeah. Very, very nice, you know. I do like Boss in this game too, even if he isn't as good as he was before. Now, now, let's... Now that you talked about love units, let's go here. So... I want to send the flyers, obviously. I want to see if I can deal with um, some of these mages and stuff coming towards us. I guess one problem... Actually, no, it's not a problem, because yeah, we're not in range of the mages, and we can also heal them too. And you've got the two healers here. They're nice to have around. It's always nice to have an extra pair of healing hands, just in case. This section here, I might use shield, we'll see. You do get another wing spare, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, we'll, might, we might take advantage of that. And of course, Sirius. Sirius is probably one of my best units for dealing with these thieves. Because he has good bulk, so yeah, that definitely helps. And a Rohan, he can cross the water actually, so yeah, I'll take advantage. He does have the best defense in the world though, so yeah. Um, so yeah, these ballista will be a problem, so yeah. Sheeta actually has 11 defense, so yeah, she'll be a lot better at the end of this than I think, so yeah. It's pretty insane actually that she has that much defense thanks to, um, Cav, but anyway. Let's see, we got the mages, and we got the beef anyway. So, how does Julian do? Um, again, he can kill the iron swords, so that's good. So let's do that. And there you go. Well done. <laughs> like I said, I want to see if I can get nice and strong. I might kill this one with Sheeta then. Let's see, yeah, Steel Lance does well. Um, I would need to heal her then if we're going to take her. I mean, actually, no. 
the, aren't the forts be uh, I think the best way to heal is use one of the healers, so yeah. Let's do this. Let's use the... a good one-shot, I think. Yeah, with the lead swords. Let's just do that. Because, again, the lead sword is really nice. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. I probably prefer Shida as a flying unit peg. But, yeah, again... She is, like... Because of the growth rates here, yeah, it does make some logical sense to um, try and cap, at least for a little bit, so yeah. I can always switch back if I'm not interested enough, so yeah. But yeah, Rohan's strong enough as is, so yeah, he may not kill these enemies. Instead, yeah, I might let Sheeta do it because, again, she has the wings fit. Then, like I said, the fence is actually really good, so yeah. I can also beat out the Ballista with Linda, as long as she's only in range of one of these guys and one of these guys only as well, so yeah. Hey, yeah, Marth, Marth probably wants to go north at Sirius because the village. And then you can go down and then go seas, basically, so yeah, that's Marth's journey. You know, lately I haven't seen that mercenary Santo. I heard that he might have joined your ranks, like, but I guess not. He's, a, he's as lax as they get, but he can't go wrong with his skill. Interesting. Um, we'll see what the Santo dude is all about later. Anyway, so yeah, Sirius, he actually doesn't kill these guys, so yeah, I probably should give him the Steel Sword, that's okay. Or a Lance. Because yeah, these guys are gonna get a bit annoying. So, I guess Moth can get killed with the Steel Sword, so I'm gonna do that. Probably should use the Reaper, but that's okay. And then Sirius, yeah, he didn't javelin and kill this guy, so yeah, no problem. He ain't running away. <laughs> so there we go. I do like using Sirius for this. It's definitely one of his best uses on this map. You can also make him a Draco and deal with these guys too. But anyway, yeah, we should definitely beat one at a time, so yeah. We'll beat this guy. Weird. Capture actually. With the. I think the steel arts will be good enough, so let's do that. The support now, so yeah, we can make the bunch of that. Yeah, and she might actually be really good here, so yeah. I don't know if. I probably should have forged the wing spit, but that's okay. Again, it's a really good forge target. Because you know. <laughs> you can go for a lot of one shots with them. Yeah, I don't really need those two, I think, so I'm just gonna have to chill. Again, we could use um, Linda to maybe beat in the Ballista. Alright, let's see what happens. I think that Cav will go for Moth, yes. So, and Moth one round, so that's good. So he'll still get something strong from this map, which is something that I wasn't planning on him getting, but hey, it works out. And this Cav, yeah, he dies to jump, and so that's good. Because again, Sirius has really nice bit stats. And nice move too. So there we go. And here come those flyers. These ones are Archaeus, so that's interesting. But yeah, she needed the um She needed the force to one round, but that's okay. We can use the steel ones, then we can kill the other ones. So there we go. So let's use the iron lance. And I think Pala can beat in the next one. go. They don't overlap on this square, so yeah, I'm pretty sure if we check the enemy range like this. So yeah, let's use another Iron Lance, because it shouldn't kill. It might one round, it's very close actually, so yeah, it very well could be. Yeah. Now if I want to, if I, the only problem is, is that she actually doesn't have very good um, HP though, so yeah. The wing spit does one shot because it's amazing, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think I need to force the wing spit because the enemies don't seem that strong, to be honest, so yeah. I can put Linda here now. I probably should have saved this turn, to be honest, but that's okay, just in case things go very wrong. Because yeah, they very well. Actually, no, it's fine, because I think Rohan is going to absorb some shots for us as well, so yeah. I can also heal Julia. And actually, maybe put a range on this guy. 
I could, but then he might be able to jump those, so yeah, that could be an issue. So let's just bump a little more. Again, I probably should have saved, because this is a very risky play on my part, not the lie, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, Moth, keep going there. And yeah, like I said, these two could like chill right there. Because yeah, if they... Let's see. See, they do go for it, and at least Taurus does. Projection, 44.5 degrees, fire! He has an arrow space, and that's effective against supplies, so he can't really sit on it. Oh, I see my grip right. Here's a stone hoist. They both go for it, okay. That's fine, because Shida is going to now run around these, um... Armors, that's great, with the wings, yeah. And she gets strength and speed. Well done. <laughs> and this guy's a champion, so I probably should have like, hand axe that's okay. I guess now it's gonna be a little bit annoying to break through this, guys. And again, Pala, once again, very tanky, and also setting up these wyverns very nicely for Catra. She also levels up. She even got speed. <laughs> if I make her Draco. The cap is only 23, so yeah, she'll very easily reach that actually, so yeah. I say it's definitely her better approach, because in this game you can get the Elysium one in the main story. I probably will use one on Catra, because she cuts speed. <laughs> Let's put them here, and you get off, going off the village. And Sirius, um, I guess there's that guy, but yeah, we're gonna go and kill him with the white see ya. Let's see, Rohan probably needs to do this. And there we go. <laughs> Kill that armor. And now Sheeta should be able to get in range of this guy. She can actually get in the minimum range on both, but then she'll be attacked by two cows. But they don't do that much. This guy doesn't hurt her. The Javan dude. The Steel Lance, or not Steel Lance, the Iron Lance dude does 2 to her, so she should be fine. And again, Lady Sword, Lady Sword almost kills. But yeah, since it's almost a kill, I'll go for the Steel Lance. But yeah, maybe Wing Seven could have been smart because we are going to be fighting some calves coming up, but that's okay. I think she'll be fine. Um, I'll keep these two here. I probably again should use the save point because again I'm playing a little bit risky there, but let's see then. I'll probably use the save point next time. So yeah, I don't think we need to do anything else. See, so yeah, let's just end. <laughs> so yeah, Arasfake goes for Rohan. And then Stone Hoist goes for Rohan. And he gets a bug both. And the calves, yeah, and they don't hurt her, and she actually won around, so yeah, very nice. So there we go, well done, Shida. She's actually doing really well for us. And this Javan dude does zero to us, see, so yeah, that's also great. The only problem now is Rohan doesn't have much health left, so... It's gonna be a little bit difficult to use them. Right? With those calves also being close by as well, so yeah. So, I do have a Vulnery though, so I can use that. Um, yeah, what I can do is, I can finally kill this guy. <laughs> he dodged. But he did pick out the there we go. I should mention another thing too. Melissa don't move in this game at all. All of them have no movement, so yeah. You might be wondering why. And uh, there's actually a lore reason. It's in some support, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm in this guy's mineral range now, which is good. And yeah, as long as I'm not in range of that guy too, we should be fine. And yeah, his range is a lot less, so yeah. Let's see if we can get these two on the move. I'll use the save point now, I think. It's probably not a wise idea to do it now, but anyway. <laughs> Alright. Let's mark him too. Yes, again, we don't fully really don't want to, you know, get that flies range. Here's the iron, let's go. 
Now, these two are going to be a little bit naughty, and they're going to go after the, um, snipers of the Unlocked, so yeah. Anyway, that's another level up for Katra. And she got Shuffle, also. Her stats in a very good place, but anyway. So, Sirius, you can probably go visit her. Sad beast again. Oh, Altoons, here I plead. Please defeat General Lang. As long as that man lives, peace is just a... is but a fleeting dream. Yeah, we will. We definitely will. So anyway... Might get the... The only problem is you can't really send your healers in two because they'll get arrow speed, which is annoying, so yeah. So here, yeah... They don't move unless you're close to them, so yeah. And yeah, you wanna actually avoid killing George. Yeah, he drops the path here, which is tempting, especially on... Um... Especially in what's the game called? Heavy 3. Because he might actually have a unit with the right weapon rank at this point, depending on how things are going for you. But yeah, you if you kill him now, you actually get forced to bat him. You'll see why later. Anyway, yep. Yeah. You get arrows faded. And yeah. I just arranged very well. See, so yeah, this guy's gonna get some gold Roman. And I think we might kill the boss actually, so yeah, I can also heal Linda, the heal stuff. Unfortunately, she can't go, but so yeah, I do want to try killing this guy now, let's see ya. I might use the Lady Sword again, but yeah, Rohan, yeah, Rohan. I think it should probably be Rohan, because he completely destroys him, so yeah. With the Iron Axe, see so ya, yeah, why not. And a nice crit too. General Lang, our tear is too strong. Because you're getting that guy out of the way is gonna be very useful. And Rohan gets another level up. We get the Gemini. Uh, next star shot. This one is strength and magic. Which is really cool. But anyway, what does she do? Yeah, I don't think she can kill. Um Steel Answer. So yeah, I'll probably trade Rohan. Yeah, he already has the Iron Axe. He should go for Rohan then. Actually, he should go for Sheeta now because Rohan's not rage anymore. So yeah, I guess that works out. So yeah. I'm gonna put Capture here because yeah, the idea is I'm gonna see if I can kill this guy and this guy. With them. So yeah. Marth is almost at the village. And then, um, Sirius. Yes, Sirius can kill them. But anyway. Now let's go move on with all these units. Yeah, Linda's not gonna get much ink in this map, that's okay. You want Ricard actually, because Ricard is the VIP card and does something for us in this map, because he does the secret shop in this map. It's in between the two um, shops. The armory and the shop, so yeah. So let's see. So yeah, they do hurt. This guy does hurt, but yeah, again, she does actually really bulky, which I wasn't expecting, but yeah. <laughs> and she'll get another level up, awesome. And yeah, that's to be expected. But anyway, here's a thief. Ooh, pretty boys! Look at all that ruckus. Never a bad time to attack that bunch of villagers. And we can get the village. <laughs> oh, for this is Prince Swarf, I wonder how my granddaughter Leno is faring him. What? You don't know? I see. Ved, do you still want this Haman stuff? At, la at least, if Leno's people believe she were around, I'm sure she could use it. But whatever be the case, I'm, I've no use for a souvenir. Please make good use of it. You get the Hamlin stuff, but it's been quite nerfed. Um, it only has three uses, but it's still really good. Prepare an allies combat item, but now Malisha can also use it because apparently she was a student of Lena's. I don't know about that, but anyway, I guess she was in Cross, and apparently Lena lives in Cross, so yeah. And anyway, we can give this one to. I probably should give it to Linda, so yeah. I could also give it to Trillium, but that's okay. But there we go. And yeah, this thief will see what happens with him. I'll see if Sheeta can kill her as well. It's not gonna hurt Sheeta, yep. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go here, and Rohan is going to check out the shops. I do have a decent amount, so yeah, I can buy some things. I probably want steel answers, so yeah, I'm gonna buy two of them just in case. And then... I think they're good, actually. 
And then you yeah, recall that he's gonna use the um, C uh, VIP card, sorry. And then we're gonna see what we can find at the secret shop. There's actually only one item for sale. It is a pretty different secret shop when compared to its every free incarnation. So yeah. And again, on the last turn, we're gonna kill these guys. So yeah. Two of them at least. <laughs> I believe on Lunatic they move if you're in their range, so yeah, that's pretty nasty, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, she does super fast, so yeah, she kills that guy. And there we go. But yeah, we don't have the victory music because, yeah, the snipers are still around, but anyway. Let's check out the Fenta. Fire, heal, door, keep on right, don't need anything else. Because we just got a fire turn, so yeah. Where's Ricard? There he is. You can go to the super shop. And yeah, it's right here. So, all it sells is a master seal, and that's it. But I'll buy it. I'll buy it. <laughs> because, yeah, being able to promote one extra person earlier on could be nice. In FE3, it sells all the stat boosters. You can buy as long as you want, as long as you want. So, yeah. That's pretty good. Now, we need to do is worry about Moth. I could also heal with Militia, because I get Militia, I want to use a long term seal. So some experience in her would be very nice. More magic would be nice though, because that's what she's good at, so yeah. I keep doing that by accident, but that's okay. But yeah, you mean I could also make use of the experience too, but yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, yeah, that's this map basically wrapped up. It's a pretty interesting one. I actually kind of like this one. It's a pretty um intense one too, in the right circumstances. So yeah. Okay, Mark can see next turn. So then the White Wings are gonna go kill a sniper. So yeah. Because they are promoted, they'll give a good amount of speed. They're only level one though. So yeah. So yeah, we're gonna need to use the silver lance though. I always like doing this, it's very evil, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is what they get for being on our side, like, or not being on our side. But yeah, we need the Lancer here, and then we can kill two of them. But yeah, if I don't seize this turn, they would definitely kill these two, so yeah, we need to get out of it. Which Marth is going to do right now. So there we go. That's that map over and done. See, that was a again, that was a pretty interesting. I did like how I played too. She was really useful on this map, so I'm glad that yeah, the recast really paid off. Sire, we finally seized control of Rust. However, a number of enemies are concealed within the castle. A drop here is far from over. Yes, I know. Lang must be stopped here and now, or else he forsake the people of Rust. Sire, I too do not intend to let him go. Say the word, and with these very hands. This is Lang we are talking about. We don't know what he's planning. Right, we must take extra caution and find us at the castle. So yeah, we'll heed Jacob's advice. So yeah, next up chapter 6. We're going to be finally taking on Lang. Um, and putting him in his place. So yeah, look forward to that and I'll see you guys again for that.